So today we're going to scatter some trees and maybe some rocks and such on our landscape in this part of the landscape tutorial series. Make sure to check out our previous videos on making the trees and making the landscape. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to simply create a collection and double click, call it trees and drag our trees into our tree collection. So next up, we click on our landscape. We see this little guy, which has a dot with three lines coming out of it. And these, this is the particles. We got a new particle system. Now we're actually going to set it to hair. So what hair does is it makes little hairs come out of our mesh, but then we got to go to our render and it'll say render as path. We can change it to collection. Now, instance collection, we grab our trees and you might notice that we got our different trees all around. Now, first of all, they're tiny. So let's start by making the scale bigger and we'll add some scale roundness. Maybe like that. Next, we'll hit advanced, which will give us a rotation and a few other things, but most importantly, the rotation we will turn on that. Now an orientation axis, we're going to go with none. And that will have them going up in the same direction that we modeled them in. So pointing straight up. Now you might notice, first of all, one problem is that we got trees everywhere, even in the middle of our lake. So how can we fix this? Well, first of all, you are going to want to go to your little triangle guy for your data. And you can go to the vertex groups and add a new vertex group. We'll just call this trees. And if we go back to our particle system, you'll see near the bottom, there's a vertex groups here. And we'll just go to density and choose trees. Now we can go back to our vertex groups. If I go tab into edit mode to our landscape, we can go and select some of these vertices to use as our locations. Now, optionally, you can go ahead and apply the multi-resolution modifier to this so that it actually has a shape. And I think we'll do that. So I'm going to simply hit apply. Now I can go back in and tap. And now we got the full model here. Hit Alt A and deselect everything. And maybe I'll hit three to go into face selection. And I'll hit C for circle to select some faces in areas where I want trees. So. Maybe I'll use a scroll wheel to make my circle selection brush bigger. And I can just go select some areas where I want trees to grow. Maybe up to this point. And I'll grab some over here. Maybe just a little bit starting to go up the mountain, but not too far in. Now we can go ahead and look around and we see that we got a little bit of overlapping here, so maybe I can go and if I hit middle click when I do this, it will erase. Maybe I'll left click here and get a little bit better over there. And I believe I got some on my path over here, so I'm going to go ahead and erase that. Use the scroll wheel and make it a little smaller. And like so. Raise some over there. And are any uh, angles that might be hard for a tree to go up? Yeah, like there. And I'll just erase those. And maybe a little bit over here. That seems like it's going at too steep of an angle. Now I can go back to our little triangle for our vertex group settings. And we'll start by having these assigned. Now if I tab out we see that there's now only trees in those locations. Now let's maybe go and change up the settings for our particle system a little bit. I think if I go back to the render, I think that it could potentially be a little bit bigger, these trees. If I wanted to change the amount, I could go to emission and lower or raise the amount. Now let's say I want to make some rocks. So I'm going to make some rocks real quick. I'm going to start by going to the, Selecting this collection, Shift A, Mesh, Echosphere. And this will be a start for our rock. 
I'm going to start by lowering the subdivisions to about one. That sounds good. Two is a little too smooth. And we'll just add a material. Rock. We'll make it more of a grayish. Maybe a darkish gray. And we'll tie into edit mode. We'll scale this down maybe a little bit. Shifty to duplicate. Scale it down, rotate, RR will give you a more free rotation scale on Z or something. And I can just link select this and we'll have just a couple of random rocks that we have in a collection here. I'll call this Echosphere Rocks. And maybe I will go ahead and make another one in material rock two. And I'll make this more of a lighter gray, assign it, and maybe, maybe even a little bit lighter. All right. So we'll have that for our rocks here. I'm going to go move this rock by pressing G, move it off to the side over here. Now, an alternative method to place a bunch of meshes is to use the object scatter mo modifier. Now, first of all, you have to go to edit preferences, add-ons, and then and search scatter. And you'll see scatter objects. Just hit the check mark and hit save preferences and you'll have it enabled. I have a previous video that goes into more detail on that, so you can check it out if you wish. We're going to have this selected and shift select our landscape. What we can do is hit F3 and we'll get a search and we can go ahead and search scatter and we'll see scatter objects. And now I can go ahead and draw some lines here and it will create a bunch of instances of our rock mesh. Now it's starting off as these little blue guys. So if I go to object scatter, I got some settings here. I can lower the density since that looks like it's probably way too much. And I can make the scale bigger, maybe even like two. And again, I think the density looks a little high. And then I can just go ahead and draw in some locations for some rocks here. And we can just add them in anywhere where we think it might be good. And we can press enter. And now we got some rocks going along our surfaces here. Now I think we can maybe use a little bit more than that. So let's try doing that once more. F3, scatter objects, and I'll draw in some more. And maybe another round. And you can just keep doing this until you think you have enough. And I'll hit enter again. And now you can see that we got some rocks over here. Now this works by creating little triangles and then having an instance mesh place on top of those triangles. So in my previous object scatter video, I'll show you more about how to maybe remove those if you wish and get other such more advanced information on the object scatter modifier. Now, the reason we didn't just do this with the trees is because it is, is because it's based off of the angle of each of the faces and we want the trees to stay pointed straight up. I'm going to go into our first duplicator, tab into that mode, circle select some of these rocks because I think it was a mistake putting them here. Delete faces and you'll see that I just deleted the triangle that these meshes are placed on. I think maybe a little bit over here. This is Mr. Tripi. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and check out some of my other videos so my channel grow. Thank you.